Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hey, Grow My Cleaning Company. So good to be with you again today. We have the lovely, the amazing, the possibly about ready to get attacked for those of you that are on video, Angela Nori. Um, this young lady started Time to Spare Cleaning in January 2021 in Melbourne, uh, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> we've got, I think we've had, I know we've had tons of, not tons, but several clients in Melbourne, Australia. You may be the first Melbourne, Perfect. Florida. Perfect. Watch um, out, Melbourne. Yes. You consider yourselves on warning. She's got her tack turkey. She's got her <laughs> right. overlooking deer. So it's all on. Uh, Angela cleaned as a side hustle for a year and a half before and finally got serious recently and turned it into an official business start of this year. We're recording this February, 2021. She kind of got real January, 2021. Um, typically is where we would, sh- I would have Angela share uh, an interesting fact about her, which I'm going to give her the option, but I'm going to start with an interesting fact about her and then she can add if she likes. So okay. usually our new format, we went from two days a week to three days a week because people wanted more. We're doing once a week as me and a team member, once a week as uh, kind of someone from Cleaning Nation that wants coaching, like just not a client, just one of the one of the many. And if that's you, just email Lindsay at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Be like, I would like coaching for Mike. Free? Are you kidding me? For 20 minutes? I want that. Um, or we'll have people that have been through our program and that are super rock stars and we have them on so they can brag about how amazing they are and share what they learned and try and help you guys get value from that. Um, Angela signed up for our podcast and then signed up for our program, but just started. So she has no, res- well, she may have results that I don't know about, but she's only been in 10 seconds. So we're going to give her a pass. So I think right. I'm going to coach her just like a non-client kind of some bonus clothes coaching. Cause we love ourselves some Angela. And then if you guys will let cleaning nation say, if you love Angela, the way we love Angela, let us know. We'll have her come back on after she graduates and brag about what a rock star she is. Oh, yeah. Um, and we'll just see that live. So that's the interesting fact I have about you. Angela, what interesting facts do you have about you that Cleaning Nation has got to know? Okay. So interesting fact about me is I can burp the alphabet. So, you <sighs> I know. I wish you wouldn't have said that because. I know. I can't do that right now. You know. Well, I have hold on. My- All right. So if you can't do it now, I'm going to have to call bull crap. Like I could say <laughs> I could dunk a football, a basketball with one hand with a 360 <laughs> dunk. I'm not going to do it now for you. So are we going to call bull crap and you'll just be Angela the liar? All right. Or are so we gonna... How about I'll give you a couple of letters? How if about you can that? get through H, I believe. You. Ooh, okay. All right. And without a Coke. Okay. This is really putting me on the spot. So just so you know, are you ready? This, this is the kind of quality broadcasting you have come that's to right. expect from we're keeping you know, it real, people. some of you came like, I want to grow my clean. No, 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 we're not. That's not today. <laughs> we'll be, t- but first the love and look how, look how feminine she is. So if I did, it's like, yeah, gross old dude. This is like an actual, you know, that's woman. Right. Yeah. I like to wow you people. I like to wow you. All right, okay. So now I have to know, now that you're kind of doing some of these masculine qualities, were you the murderer of this amazing <laughs> turkey and deer behind you? Or was it a husband? Not, or, these, or, two. Okay. Not these two, but I, I do have a couple under my belt. I do. I'm married to a lady with a gun. And uh, that's a, that's a oh, and she, she likes to fish, right? She, oh my gosh, she loves the fish. She's in the hunt, right. but she would. She just, she loves guns and she loves okay. fishing. She okay. wants shot. A fish, believe it or not. Okay. It was, to be fair, it was like a hundred pound, like coming in the boat, but literally like cold cock, just that's how she rolls. Hey, so that's how she rolls. I like it. it. All right. Like so it. you should okay. have had plenty of time to ingest oh my gosh. All, whatever. Now you made me nervous. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. That's as far as we can go. <laughs> I have lost all credibility across the board with anybody watching. Or you have gained massive credibility <laughs> from ladies and gentlemen across the world going to that lady. And that was unscripted, unplanned. And I can assure you real as can be, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are tuning into the podcast, go to yeah. growmycleaningcover.com and get me. You're going to want to see that one on YouTube. It was... Uh, 
her whole body transformed from, you know, yeah. a lovely young woman to this burp creating machine. I'm which sorry. Was, I'm sorry. I'm going to really regret that after the fact. I am. You may, but again, you, the, you, you could have, there's a thousand interesting facts you could have shared. You pull that and expect me to just let, give you a pass. I think I that, know you got to go with something fun. Come on. So that never has happened on this program. So You're there welcome. you go. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. This is uh, I, I have a feeling whether you do well or poorly in the program, I'm sure you're going to do well. People are going to want more Angela. So <laughs> again, clean nation. If, if this is the kind of hard hitting you know, oh interview God. you need, let me know if you're sick of my nonsense and you would just like us to stop it. You can let what me know, but it's not going to happen. Have? What other tricks? Yeah, you're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to get, I like Angela. So there shall be more Angela. Okay. Perfect. Let's jump in. Um, okay. First of all, we certainly, it's going to be downhill. I don't know that we can improve from that. All right. But fair enough. Fair enough. We can, yeah. We'll try. That was for y'all. This is for me now. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you got to give the people what they want. That's all. Absolutely. You got to give the people what they want. Absolutely. All right. So you're, I'm going to take off my sweater because I'm warm while you ask the question you have. And I contemplate it. Uh, if yep. I should give a verbal answer or a burped answer, I'll, I'll work on all that. All right. Fair enough. You give fair me your enough. I'll receive either one. Yes. So um, my question was, what question should I be asking to go to the next level or how do I know I am doing what I need to do to go to the next level or to grow? So, man, I have thoughts. Um, so I'm so excited about this question. I'm, and I don't know how to burp an answer. So based on those two things, you okay. shall get a, uh, a English language to the best of my ability answer. Okay. Perfect. So first and foremost, I want to encourage everybody in Cleaning Nation, coaching for a living, mostly for paid and sometimes, you know, for you guys, the quality of the questions really dictates the quality of the coaching I can give. I literally, if someone tells me how much money they have, how much experience they have, how I, fine. You ask me just two or three questions, like where yet now, how can I best help? I can instantly indicate this guy or gal is going to be a rock star. This guy or gal is going to struggle. Um, that question of what should I be asking? I don't even know what questions to ask. So what questions should I be asking to get the next level is phenomenal. I really am impressed by that question. So for those of you note takers out there, write down, what weak questions am I asking that are getting me weak answers? What powerful questions can I ask that will give me powerful answers? Um, really important. Again, I feel like I'm a really good coach. We change lives. If you ask me weak questions that I can only answer those questions, completely handicapped. You ask me powerful questions, we can, we can help change your life. Okay. Um, in other words, how do I know what I'm doing to need to be growing. So I'm going to give a super self-serving answer, not because I want to self-serve because it's the truth. And then I'll try and give a less truthful, less self-serving answer. Um, honest to goodness, Angelie, just Angelie, Angela, between you and me, <laughs> when you say it fast, turns into Angelie, yeah. you've done what you need to do. You found um, a mentor in a system that's proven and you are going to go all in and, and do the work. And again, this, I can say it to Angela because she's already bought it. Her, <laughs> her check is cleared. So I'm not trying to sell anything. Um, so my encouragement to you is, that's really important because there's so many things, even just knowing what do I focus on is difficult. So finding, and for everybody that doesn't, isn't here to like, hear me tell me about how great I am. If not our system, a system that is work and is, and is proven. So knowing what not to focus on is as important, what to focus on. And the fact that you've got a system that's going to tell you what to do step-by-step, step, you can go, Oh, if I just follow the steps and do the action items, I don't even have to ask any questions. Mike's already asked those questions and answered them. So that's the, as truthful as I can be, but it's probably not super helpful to the people that are not here and not in the program. They're like, that makes Angela feel great, but we're tuning in here. So let me give right. an answer for, so the short answer is find a system and a process that you believe works, ideally a mentor that you trust and like, and have him or her lead you by the hand through that process. That is, so the, I mean, I guess the answer would be the question to ask is who's done this before? who's yeah. done it repeatedly, not, uh, I got lucky, but I, they've done it over and over. Who's shown and demonstrated an ability to teach others to do that, right? There's some people that are really good at doing it, but they can't articulate or help others do it. Um, there are others that have systems and processes to help you get systems and processes. So those, and again, I promise I'm going to give an answer for those of you who are like, I don't want to buy any stupid systems, Mike. Um, but yes, the honest question, I'm giving you an honest answer. So fine. The question would be who's done this, that that's done it themselves. They've done it repeatedly. They've helped others do it, not just one guy or gal. They've helped 
hopefully dozens or hundreds, you know, enough that I can be confident in. And are we a core values match? Right. There's, I'm sure there's guys out there that are like, I can help you screw the next guy before he screws you like that. Even if he's been successful, that wouldn't be for Angela. Cause that's not who she is. So that's the, the truth. That's my, the best answer I can give for those of you that are like, quit trying to sell your crap. I promise I'm not. That's just a good answer. Um, for those of you like, I don't want to do it. I want to do it on my own. First of all, I'd say, well, pay for a mentor or not. Don't do it on your own. That's, that's never going to work. Okay. Um, if I had to, if you handicapped me and said that you can't give that answer, you have to give the second best answer. Believe it or not, it would be to transition. First, we already gave the, the answer is upgrade your questions, right? And I love the question that you're asking. So let me give some other examples of what that could look and feel like. Um, why doesn't my Facebook ad work? How come I waste all this money? Why do I keep getting screwed by advertising people that are taking advantage of me? Why, do, why does no one want to work in my area? How come my hiring ad doesn't suck? Those are all really disempowering questions that are getting you very disempowering answers. There's no answer that your brain will come up with that will help you move forward. Um, what might work is, as opposed to asking the question, why does everyone I hire suck? We upgrade that question with, who would I need to be to attract the most amazing person ever? Or what would the most amazing person ever look like? And what would be interesting to them? And what kind of bait would I use? <laughs> We're talking about fishing to get that guy or gal around. See how just that question without a coach is such a more powerful question. So Absolutely. the question I should ask is the first thing, the first question is how can I improve my questions? The second piece to that would be how do I improve me first? And then my business will get better. Everyone is like, Mike, just tell me what to do. The problem is they don't be, they want to be who they need to be. Right. So we think we need to change what we do and then somehow we'll become this leader and then we'll have a big company and then we'll be the leader of a big company. It works the exact opposite. We become the leader of a big company. Even when we have a tiny, small company, we do, we think the way that guy or guy would think, and then we do the things that the, that guy or guy would do. And then we have the things that guy or guy would have. So the short answer would be find a mentor or a, a system that you trust and get that guy or gal, whether it's money or begging or moving in or threatening, whatever you're going to do, get that guy or gonna help you. If you're not willing to do that, um, upgrade the quality of your questions. Actually, I should have given those in reverse order. The second thing would be, who do I need to be? Not what do I need to do? And then the best and quickest way to upgrade who you are is by the questions that you ask. So fulfilling answer, totally miss what you're looking for. Thoughts, no, feedback, no, questions, comments. No, that's great. Um, and I, I think, yeah, no, that's perfect. It, it totally makes sense. And I just, if I can give you a shout out with not intentionally giving you a shout out. I think the reason that's why I've circled back and just decided to go ahead and commit to the program before I even had any coaching from you, because the, over the past um, six months, like I've listened to hundreds and hundreds of your podcasts and it's what you said, like, we're a core values match. And I think that's why I connect with you so well is like, I believe in what you believe in and, you know, we're on the same. So I think that's why it's so just to give you a little background, I talked, my husband and I talked to Lou back in uh, October. And so Lou's like, ah, oh, come on guys, you got to commit, you got to commit. And so, you know, we walk away and we're like, Oh, we need to pray about this, you know? And so, uh, so we, we didn't feel like we could commit to it right then. And so, uh, we walked away and, you know, when this circled back around, like in last week, I was like, we're all in, we're all in. It just, I've tried it. I've tried to figure it out on my own. I've tried to implement systems and the reality is like, even though I take what I've learned from you, like there's still these chunks that it's like, there's so much to figure out when you do this. So, so let me encourage all of you guys and gals listening. I heard a couple things because I'm, I'm trying to get any, I'm always trying to learn. Right. And I hear it's, people say smart things. I, I, I don't want you guys to miss it. So the first thing that Angela said, that is the key to the whole operation is the word commit. I love that she got, she's like, Hey, back in October. And like I said, we're recording some February. So four five, six months, whatever that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, honest to goodness is we know in the way that we set up our program is we, we want people that are definitively in, right. And we're not cheap. We make it expensive intentionally because 
<laughs> for those of you that are biblical people, your, 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 your treasure is where your heart is. So if you put your treasure somewhere, your heart will follow. If you give me a nickel, um, your heart's not in it and we can ask and beg and, and plead and you are not going to get results. You put some of your treasure in, guess what? Your heart all of a sudden is like, boy, Mike's so much more interesting and charming and smarter than he was. You know, So the commitment is huge. And again, please don't hear this as self-serving, a program, a mentor, whoever you need, the commitment is the key. So if you have a mentor that you're iffy on, or a system or a process, get committed first and then go all in, right? I, it frustrates me when I hear people that are like, oh, I tried this or I tried that. And their systems or processes or Facebook, things I know work. Right. And they're like, they didn't work. And it's like, yeah. they don't work until you do, man. You got to be all in. Yeah. So I just, I love that you were self-aware as much as we would have loved to help you in October. Yeah. Um, I love that you're self-aware enough to go, we're not all in and that's fine. We, yeah. we'd, we'd rather not have that. The flip side, I want to give you guys, and we're going to go out because we're, we're going long, is you guys buy how you sell, right? So a um, couple things happen. One, we don't chase people. Um, we get more people than we need or can possibly serve. And then we select the ones that are the best. Um, and guess what? We get the best clients ever because they're committed. We're selective. You guys can do that, right? One of the things we teach in, the, in, the, in our course and on this podcast are charge a premium price, offer a premium service. So get really good at attracting customers. So you always have more people that want in and they want your help than you can handle. So it's really easy when you've got an angel here, like, oh, she could be good, but it's not a fit to just part ways with and go, that's okay. She'll be back when she's a fit or not, but that's okay. Um, so charge a premium, do a good enough job attracting clients. So even if there's a client that you really want to serve, the timing's not right. You'd be like, that's okay. We'll, we'll look for the next person. So that's probably the biggest encouragement I can give. What other, uh, all right, I'm going to turn around on you before we end. What question should have I asked you? And uh, what would your answer be to said question? Um, what question should you have asked me? You mean just regarding me being in the program or what? Business, life, your PIN number, whatever, what other things no, you can please birth? Don't what, ask for that. <laughs> what que- <laughs> please don't give it. What question um, should have I asked to give the most value to our listeners that I didn't? Okay. Um, well, uh, I, th- I think the, um, my big motivator in doing this is, um, obviously to get more time and money freedom. Um, my husband's a pastor and, um, what? how yeah. do you have the, Oh, for crying out loud. Now I'm pissed. How do I know? We talked this whole time and you're like, you buried the lead. Holy I'm crap. Sorry, I thought you had that information. I probably should have, but I don't. And that is, no, okay. we will talk more about that. I'm dying to hear, but continue. yeah. Yeah. So he's a pastor here. And so, um, when we moved down here, I was just trying to figure out like, what, what is my place and what am I going to do? Cause we both worked at a church, um, in Atlanta where we moved from. And so I was kind of set with like, okay, now what? And so, um, so yeah, this came out of a friend asking me, um, you know, you want to clean my house? And I said, yes. And that turned into 13 clients. And so I feel like I have, um, maxed it out and, and now I'm trying to figure out, all right, how can I, not lose because you feel so proud of what you built right and so it's like oh man i have all these awesome people and great clients and but i don't know what the heck i'm doing so it just reached a point where we had to decide like okay how can we get to the next level and um have that time and money because you know what i like to clean i have to clean i like to clean for my family (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and so I want to get out of that cleaning piece and have the time and money freedom. So I know you guys can, uh, can help me rock and roll with that. All right. So la- don't, lest you missed it, I hope you didn't. The big takeaway from what Angela just said is connect to your why. So important because when we ask you to do, not you, anyone to do anything, right? If you want a different result, obviously you're gonna have to do different input. So typically the reason you've been doing what you've been doing is that's what's comfortable. So if you're gonna do, get a different result, you need to do different actions. And typically those actions would be not comfortable. So Angela nailed it when she said, I got clear on my why, right? If it's just, I'd like to get bigger, but I don't know why, or I don't care when the tough things happen and they shall, and you're asked to step out of your comfort zone and you will, um, you go, eh, or I could just do what I've been doing and get what I've been getting. And that's absolutely the truth. So yeah. you see that face, you're like, yeah. it's like, oh, no. it's like I, I said, how about some cancer? That face is just like, no, <laughs> yeah, gross. 
Um, so that why is huge. And let me just tell you how powerful it is from my perspective. Um, so first of all, it's embarrassing. I can't believe you're already in the program. We talked so much and I didn't even know your husband's a pastor. That just right. is fascinating to me. Um, but second, now I, my, I now have a why for Angela before it was, she gave me money and she's a nice lady and I like to see her successful. So I owe her some sort of, you know, result. Fine. My new why is I'll bet you if Angela could, if not Angela, if, um, Angela's company could pay all the bills for the Maori family and her husband could just serve wherever he felt God was called, regardless of the pay or his pay would be bonus. So they could just give it. Now that would be something. See, and look at Angela, she's lighting up. So hopefully you guys and gals see the why is everything to do with it. Right. So yeah, absolutely. Not, not that I wasn't motivated before, but now I'm like, yes, that's a yep. real getting people out of, you know, Angela making more money, driving a nicer car, working less. That's all super exciting. But sure. to be able to be like, wow, you know, like, I, yeah, I feel most pastors or most good pastors were put on earth to do that. Right. I feel like I was put on earth to do this, right. I'd probably make a terrible pastor and your husband may not be a great coach at, at this. Um, you know, but I think they're super important. And I'm like, wow, if, if the why of being able to free this guy up to be like, I was put on earth, God created me to do this. And I could do it with no worry about money because my, he put, he gave me an amazing wife who is super interested in doing, I mean, all of a sudden it just takes on a different dynamic. So hopefully you guys yeah. are seeing, and your wife could be different, right? You're like, that doesn't apply to me. I'm not married to a pastor. You're like you're missing the whole point. Your wife, yeah, no. <laughs> your wife doesn't have to be Angela's why you just have to have a why that fires you up. And yes, for, sure. for those of you on the video that saw Angela's energy, pre and I started talking about her husband being able to work wherever the heck he wanted or God called him, regardless of pay. She just lit up. She's like, Oh my gosh, I would love that. I could provide yeah. that for my husband. That's Absolutely. a big fat why. So yes, yeah. yes, it's huge. Power of why guys. All right. So, um, excellent podcast, excellent burping. I may, this may, I rarely go back and listen to my own podcast, but this one, I'm that little snippet. I might, uh, I might have to I'm come I'm a little back. nervous for that. Uh, you shouldn't be. It was, uh, it was glorious. I don't know what else to tell you. So, <laughs> All right, Cleaning Nation, you are amazing human beings. If First of all, if you want more Angela or love Angela, uh, you can reach out to her. She's uh, Time to Spare Cleaning in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, if you want us to have more Angela, just email support at Grow My Cleaning Company. Say, we want more Angela. If you want less... Um, you can email, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's just, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I just got to, uh, I got to go my own way. I hurt my um, feelings guys. Well, I would never tell Angela. I would just cry. <laughs> you, so if you do that, I will die a little inside and I'll just internalize, but Angela, right. she'll never know. Um, all right. Clean nation. If you like this and you're like, holy heck, there's more podcasts. How do I get more of this whole universe? Growmycleaningcompany.com. Uh, I'm almost positive. There's nothing for sale there at all. But I am doing my first live coaching for free for Cleaning Nation that uh, like this is recorded like in a webinar type form. Information about that's probably there. There's a on-demand training. It's like 40 minutes of my best stuff that's there. Bunch of free crap. If you want to more time, more freedom, more profit, more impact on the world, go mycleaningcompany.com. Uh, go check it out. You're awesome. Clean Nation, talk soon. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.